Fonts are often set by a web designer in what is called the theme style sheet or just style sheet. This relieves you of the need to worry about manually enforcing typographical styles or other conventions for your website. Here we can see a font definition in a style sheet, Ferris Sands, Trebuchet. These are fallbacks. If the visitor doesn't have Ferris Sands on their system, it'll check for Trebuchet. And if not that, it'll check for Verdana. And if they don't have that, it'll display using Sans Serif. But you don't want to have to mess with this. You probably just want to change fonts on demand. To override these font settings is really easy. Let's uh, pick on our sample page to see how this is done. So here we see these fonts are being displayed and these are coming from the style sheet, but I maybe want a different font, say in this content here. So I'm gonna open the text editor and I'm just gonna say, okay, yeah, that's, that's the text I want. Now under style, I'm gonna go to font and it says default family. So the default family is coming from here, the font family settings here and the font family settings here. Sorry, just the font family settings here. This one's not active because it's been what we call remarked out. So this is the font family you're overriding. Not that you care because when you're doing this, you're just going to do it. Okay, going back to this page now. So what I want to do is I want a different font here. So I'm going to say, let's do this one, Montserrat. And then you can see over here it changed. I'm going to save. I'm going to click done and publish so I can see the change. There, there's my new font. It is overriding the one set by the style sheet. There is one other place fonts might be set by your web designer. Sometimes they're not set in the style sheet, but they're instead defined in the WordPress customizer. So you go to appearance, customize, and then from there, once it loads up, you're gonna go down to general, and then you're gonna go to text, and there's your font. It's doubtful this is being used. Um, most people don't, most web designers don't do this. They actually use a style sheet.